All right, folks, it's Nikki from Nikki Supply Store, and I'm back with another Plan With Me video for April. So, like many people, I watched Turning Red this month and I was blown away with not just the message that the film conveyed, but the aesthetic in general. So, I decided to go full out Turning Red, Red Panda vibes with this spread. So I'm not going to give away any spoilers for the movie itself in this video. Instead, I'm just going to focus on a few key visual elements that I found really appealing and were actually super nostalgic for me. So I started out in my usual way of sketching out all of the elements that I wanted to include using a pencil. I love a Blackwing Pearl because it's just the right amount of softness and darkness to do really quick sketches. Next up, I cut out some of my pink dot grid paper. I have this in the shop and I've got it in lots of different colours. I used it in last month's spread as well, which I'll link to in the description below. But I really like the idea of including these cloud elements that the panda sometimes appears from using the dot grid paper. So I stuck them down using my Sakura Quickie Glue Pen, which is really good for sticking down small and sometimes quite detailed pieces. Okay, so getting to work on inking up my panda sketch. Originally when I thought about doing this I always planned to use black as the outline colour because you think you know cartoon black is what it should be around the edge but when I tested it out on some scrap paper I felt like the black was a bit harsh so I decided to try out red using this Pentel Feud brush pen and I think it gave it a really nice softness and also tied all of the colours together really well. So I decided to stick to a colour palette of red, pinks, a sort of orangey red. This is the zebra brush pen that I'm going to use to colour in the panda in just a second. But yeah, what I'm going to do going forward to make sure that when I'm filling in my journal is keep all of the pens from this palette in a small pencil case that I can carry around with me. I did this for my New York travel journal and having all of the pens within my monthly journal palette in the same place worked really well in keeping me within that palette and theme. Now, I definitely can't take credit for this idea. Joy, who is our resident bullet journal blogger over on the Nikki Supply Store blog, was the person that told me about this super clever hack and I've been using it ever since. Joy has got loads of other very clever tips and tricks for upping your bullet journal game over on the Nikki Supply Store blog. So I'll link to those in the description below if you want to check them out. Okay, so moving on to my April cover page text. I'm using the Stabilo Pen 68 brush pen, which is a bit thicker and has a more flexible nib than the Pentel Feud and is good for slightly bigger headers like this one. I took inspiration from the movie's logo and branding for this type. It's quite blocky and has a bit of a brush lettering feel, but is all capitals. Just giving it a little drop shadow with a mild liner. Makes it pop a little bit. I'm just giving the pink clouds some detail with a jelly roll number 10. You use these nice and slowly, you get a really nice, thick, opaque, finish which is great for using on darker coloured papers like this. Oh 
Okay, so to finish off this double page spread, the page on the right is going to be the place where I put my April at a glance monthly view. So all of the dates are going to go within this box and it'll be a place where I can write down all of the main things that are going to be happening over the course of the month. At this point I had a visit from one of my cats which I thought was quite funny because we've always said he kind of has a bit of a red panda silhouette. Um, he wanted to do a little cameo I think. He sat on my knee for a while after he jumped up to see what was going on. I like to add the weekends in using a highlighter or the edge of a brush mild liner like I'm doing here just to make sure I know where they are. And on this side of the page I'm going to give myself some space for a really fun tracker and somewhere to create a little list of fun things to do as well. So just using a very similar style of text to my April banner to create this goals header. Now this little red panda tracker is actually a tracker that the characters use in the film. I hope that's not too much of a giveaway, but I had to include it as a place to record my journey towards a thousand YouTube subscribers, which I was hoping to hit last month, but I'm not quite there yet. So hopefully at the end of April, I can hit 1000. Now at this point, I knew that the spread needed something else that wasn't washi tape and I've just added these super cute gold star stickers to the store that are a bit retro. I love a star, I love a sticker. So I thought these would be perfect to add a little bit of sparkle to the cover page. I thought that it maybe needed some extra washi as well. I found this red and pink scallops one that we have in the store and experimented with a few different layouts before deciding that that wasn't going to work and just peeled it off again. That's the great thing about washi tape, it peels up really easily so that you can reposition it and experiment with where you want it to go. I added another header so that I can list my fun activities that are on the cards for this month in this section. And that's me pretty much done for this cover page. Usually when I've finished the cover and the first page of a new month, it gives me an idea of the overall look and feel and how I want the rest of the pages to look over the course of the next four or five weeks. So next up is my morning pages double spread. This is an adaptation of a long format journaling method which is mentioned in a book called The Artist's Way. I would recommend checking out that book. It is really, really insightful and this is a practice that I really enjoyed last month and I'm going to do it again for April. So I'm going to continue with these pink dot grid clouds along the bottom just to tie everything together and then this double page is going to be quite simple because the whole point of morning pages is to give yourself space to write so I don't want to overcomplicate it by adding too much. It's just going to be this header and some very small details around the bottom and the sides.
As always, I'll pop links to everything that I've used in this journal setup in the description below if you want to go and take a look and try this spread yourself or a variation of this spread. I would love to see it if you did recreate this. Pop me a link in the comments to wherever you post your journal spreads and I'll go and take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up weeks one and two. I like to do them on a rolling basis, but you can set them all up at once. It's totally up to you. You can adapt this to whatever works for you. Last month, I set up weeks three and four of March over on Instagram Live. So if you fancy catching me live, you can come along and join me there. I'll pop the handle to my Nikki Supply Store Instagram in the description below if you wanna follow me there too. So I'm keeping this fairly simple again. These boxes are gonna be my daily task boxes and I'm just adding a little drawn element to the bottom right hand corner of the first week. This is a drawing of a little red panda stone statue that you can see in the temple. I think it's near to the end of the film but I thought it was super cute and I had to draw my own version of it. I'm just gonna give it a tiny bit of shading with this pale pink Pentel Feud. I don't want it to be as densely colored as the one on the cover page and I thought this was a nice way to add a little bit of depth. So I'm sticking to my pink and red theme using this Pentel Feud brush pen for the daily headers. The text is in capitals and I'm not super fussy about it being really neat because I like that it looks hand drawn. So I'm sticking with the pink grid washi tape and the red scallops one, along with the cute little gold stars to tie it all together. That's my April setup complete. If you haven't seen Turning Red yet, I would 100% recommend taking a watch. It is such a nice movie and the aesthetic is beautiful. I found it so inspiring and I had to create this in honor of such a beautiful film. I'm really looking forward to using this over the next few weeks. If you liked this video, please do like and subscribe to my channel. As I mentioned, I am trying to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of April, so hopefully you can help me do that. If you had any questions or you've got any suggestions for other spreads that you'd like to see me create, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks again for watching folks, I will see you next time.